हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम भूमिका पांडे एंड टुडे आई विल टेल यू क्लास टेंथ फिजिक्स चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन द ह्यूमन आई एंड द कलरफुल वर्ड टॉपिक पावर ऑफ एकोमोडेशन एंड डिफेक्ट ऑफ विजन सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी पावर ऑफ एकोमोडेशन द एबिलिटी ऑफ आई लेंस टू चेंज इट्स फोकल लेंथ इज कॉल्ड पावर ऑफ एकोमोडेशन मीन्स द एबिलिटी ऑफ अवर आई लेंस to change its focal length with the help of ciliary muscles this ability is called as power of accommodation and the when the ciliary muscles relax so the eye lens become thin and the and our eye focal length increase so we can see the far objects clearly and when our eye lens contract the lens become thick and our eye lens become we can see only nearby objects clearly means we can see objects in front of us not more than that so the far point uh, the far point of a human normal human eye is about 25 cm so we can see any objects clearly from the distance of 25 cm and the far point of human eye is infinity because we can see from here stars which are millions and billions kilometer away from us so the far point of a normal human eye is infinity now we will see defects of vision there are three types of defects of vision first is myopia second is hypermetropia and third is presbyopia first we will see what is myopia myopia is also called as near sightedness and hypermetropia is called as far sightedness and presbyopia is called mixture of both myopia and hypermetropia so i will explain you all of these one by one this is a human eye and we are seeing myopia when parallel rays of light will come here from it therefore the line will meet here the image we can see will meet here and we all know that image of every object forms on retina but here the image is not forming on retina so this means we cannot see in this nearby objects clearly because i have tell you it is called as near sightedness in this people can see nearby objects clearly but cannot see distant object clearly so when the light parallel rays of light will come they will meet in front of retina they will the image will form in front of retina it will not form correctly on retina so we are not able to see them clearly for now we will see what are the causes what are the causes of myo, uh, myopia the causes of myopia are excessive curvature of eye lens excessive curvature of islands islands and second point the eyeball is big means eyeball is means eyeball your eyeball is not perfect it is big so second reason is eyeball is too big this myopia can be corrected by using converging lens correction so we will write here correction of myopia myopia can be corrected by using a converging lens means we will use here a concave lens concave lens is always converging now we will see this is eyeball now when the 
rays of light will come concave lens when the light will come when the light will meet here the ray will converge means it will converge the lines so the parallel line come from here will converge and the converge line will then meet correctly on retina so means this converging lens is very useful in the case of myopia and the image will form correctly on the retina so now we will see what is the second type of defects of vision hypermetropia the second type of vision is hypermetropia it is the second type of vision and hypermetropia is also called as farsightness because if a person is suffering from hypermetropia he can see distant by objects clearly but he cannot see near by objects clearly so the causes of hypermetropia are the focal length is the focal length of eye is too long and the second reason is that the eyeball have become too small there are two reasons of hypermetropia first reason is that the focal length of eye is too long means the focal length is bigger and the second reason the eyeball have become too small and the second reason is that the eyeball is small i am making here open diagram for you this is lens now when a parallel ray will come means from down a ray will come here it will meet from here and it will go there and one more line will come from here so the image of any object will form outside of the eyeball so the image will uh, we can see the image blur now what are the correct what are, uh, what we can do for correcting hypermetropia so the use of convex lens can be a cure for hypermetropia if we will use a convex lens it will diverge and means uh, it will diverge it and the uh, image will form correctly on retina i will show you with giving one example of a diagram means if i will make here i born lens and if we will put a convex lens in front of our eye now see what will happen when the ray of light will come when the ray of light will come it will strike on it and the image of an object will form on the this is retina after using a convex lens the image will correctly form on the retina and we can see the objects clearly so hypermetropia can be corrected by using a convex lens means a diverging lens now the third and the last type of defect of vision is presbyopia presbyopia is a third type and the last type of defect of vision presbyopia is the mixture of both myopia 
एंड हाइपर मेट्रोपिया दिस प्रेस बायोपिया हैपन बिकॉज ऑफ फर्स्ट वी विल सी वॉट आर दी काउजेज ऑफ प्रेस बायोपिया द काउजेज ऑफ प्रेस बायोपिया आर वीकनिंग वीकनिंग ऑफ साइलेटी मसल्स प्रेसबायोपिया हैपन बिकॉज ऑफ द वीकनिंग एंड ओल्डिंग ऑफ साइलेरी मसल्स वेन द साइलेरी मसल्स गेट वीक एंड ओल्ड सो दे लेफ्ट कॉन्ट्रेक्शन एंड रिलैक्शन सो दिस काउजेज वीकनिंग ऑफ साइलेरी मसल्स काउजेज प्रेस बायोपिया एंड नाउ वी विल सी वॉट आर द करेक्शन ऑफ प्रेस बायोपिया प्रेस बायोपिया कैन बी करेक्टेड बाय यूजिंग अ बाय फोकल लेंस बाय फोकल लेंस बाय फोकल लेंस बाय फोकल लेंस इज अ टाइप ऑफ लेंस विच विच कंटेन बोथ कन्वर्जिंग एंड डाइवर्जिंग लेंस मीन्स इट विल कंटेन बोथ कॉन्केव एंड कॉन्वेक्स लेंस इन ओनली वन लेंस द एप ऑफ पार्ट the above part of lens will contain concave lens and the below part will contain convex lens so these are the correction of press biopia we have completed our power, power of accommodation and we have also seen defects of vision so thank you